Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to start learning how to program with argp. Argp is an argument parsing facility for the C programming language. And you might be asking yourself, hey Josh, how does this have anything to do with the herd or with geeks or with Emacs? Well, it does have something to do with the herd. Uh, the herd translators, uh, a lot of them, most of them, use argp as their way to parse um, arguments. So while the, the herd is booting, as soon as it's booted, I can take a quick look at the herd hello translator and I can show you guys exactly where the RP stuff is found. Almost there. Alrighty then, let's see here. Gotta go to my bookmark. Actually, I'm gonna enable helm mode first. Okay, now we're gonna go to my bookmark heard programming Just thinking about it okay we're gonna go to herd um, git repository we're gonna go into the trans directory and we're going to go into the hello.c program all right so there's the argp header file that this uses. Oops, one more time. Argp program version. So these are the options that argp accepts. If you're confused, don't worry, I'm gonna explain all this. I'm trying to look for, there's like an argp and an error, here it is. So this um, hello argp, that's kind of the main, data structure of, a, of the RP. You can see it right here. That's where it was created. And then you tell trivfs you want to use this um, RP data structure to parse your options. So I'm not, I'm not quite to the point where I, I'm able to create trivfs um, programs, but I am getting a little bit closer at understanding RP. So I figured I'd show you guys how it works, and now you know that you can actually use RP with a herd. So let's go to this RP program that I have, and I'll kind of walk you through it and show you how it works. You can get an idea. Maybe we'll extend it to do something else. So um, first things first, if you're using Emacs, you can go into um, your info directory. Um, with M, you can go to libc, and let's see here, I'm trying to figure out where it is. You press I, it shows up your index topics, and you want RP. Here we are, parsing arguments with RP. So. Um, there's only a couple of things you need. I've written a little cheat sheet for this actually. You can um, read through c.org. RP. There we go. Argument parsing. Alright, so you can um, read through this whole document, which is rather impressive, or you can check out my cheat sheet which I need to put online at some point. So a lot of programs accept arguments. Um, the hello program is, uh, is one example. If you were to say heard hello, I think it says, hey, you have to start this as a translator. If you were to say heard hello usage, would that work? Ha ha, it gives you an idea of how you'd use it. Or if you would say heard hello hell, I think it's help. 
Oh, my bad. Heard. Oh, oh. Heard. Hello. Help. RP is what is is parsing all of these options to that program. So cool. So these are the global variables you're going to have to declare at the top of your program, which I've done here. The program version and your email address, pretty easy stuff. Creating parsers, here we go. So an argument parser is just a data structure in C. You're going to have to define um, its options, parser, some documentation, and another doc. Well, that's the only things you really need. Um, let's run through those real quick. So here are your options. Your options are just your command line options. So the herd hello has the command line options right here. You can say that you can specify the contents are going to be, you can specify help, you can get usage, you can get version. Um, you, could, you could also say instead of just help, I think you can just say just dash H. And it's the same thing. Maybe not. No, it's not. You could try instead of version, you could say dash B version. And it's the same thing. Anyway, you want to create an, um, an options. So your my my option here is a joke, and I'll actually run this program for you real quick. I've already compiled it, so I say help. Here's how it works. If I do argp j, I get a funny joke. If I do argp dash dash joke, I also get a funny joke. It's the same thing. So that's what this is right here. Um, this optional, I think it's it's supposed to say that argument is optional. It should it still should run even if you don't have that argument. But I mean, it still runs. It just doesn't do anything. So and you need this right here for some reason. Good to know, right? Now we need to make a parser. Your parser is the thing that parses all of your options. I believe you can have more than one, but in the simplest case, all you need is, in my case, I just need the J. Since my options contains the J, um, I think it's, it's getting past this uh, character. And basically, um, every t for, I think I think for every option this parser is run. So if I were to specify something like argp dash j dash h dash k dash l, it, well first off it'll tell you hey th th those aren't options. But if they were, it would be parsed in through here. So when um, when it's parsing in my j option. Then I do this little thing. I set this bool value to be equal to true right here. I set this value. Initially, I set it to be uh, no, but then I change it to be yes at right here, right here. Cool. Um, then you create your RP structure. You pass in your options, which we defined above. Then you pass in your parser, which we also defined above. Uh, I'm not sure what the zero is, but you can easily check that out in the info documentation. Let's see here. Probably should say it right here. RP parse function. Chuck RP and argument count. Inside, oh, your flags. Those are probably just your flags. Maybe not. Flags. I think that's what that is. Parses the argument RV of length argument count. Oh, that's that's argument parse. That's not that's the wrong one. Let's see here. Parsing sub options. Parsing example. Uh, oops. Parsing program RP. Global variables parsers. Option variables. Argument parse function. Let's see here. 
here. I don't know what that is. Um, it's somewhere. <laughs> For now, you can set it to zero. Here's your little documentation. You can also set these uh, arguments manually, but I was getting a weird segmentation fault, so I stopped doing it. Then you go into your main program. You have um, the number of arguments. So if I were to say heard hello, this is equal to, I think, just one. But if I were to say heard hello dash dash help, then there that would be like two, I think. I might say two or three. Anyway, you call your argument parse function. It parses all your options. Um, if my bool value is yes, uh, and you know this j up here, well, you can't see <laughs> this j up here. If it if it changes the bool to yes, then I would print out my joke. So that's kind of the basics of RP. Very basic, very quick. I'm sorry I didn't go quite into as much depth as I normally would, but you get the basic idea how to do um, an RP uh, program. And if you want a lot more documentation, you can just read the documentation here. Um, I read it. It took me a couple of hours just to kind of really understand this. If you if you spend an hour on a Sunday afternoon just taking notes, walking through it briefly, things won't make sense and try to re reword some of the sentences, you should be able to get a decent idea of how to use this in an afternoon. I think that concludes this session, so see y'all later.